Hey there, I'm Justin Sanceri, a licensed marriage and family therapist. I wanted to share with you an exercise that I put together for my Polyvagal 101 course. Now you can buy that course on my website, justinlmft.com, but this is kind of like a revamp and I am adding a couple new things to it uh, because I'm doing this live pretty soon and I wanted to just revisit it and I love doing overhauls and redesigns and this is my new branding style with the black and white and a certain font and whatnot, but that's just, that's just for me, you don't need to worry about that. So with this, this is an exercise. I wanna see if you can differentiate uh, the polyvagal states, a couple of them. Now there's the polyvagal primary states and the polyvagal mixed states. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go to my website. I have something called polyvagal intro uh, in the menu. Click on that and get your crash course in the polyvagal theory. If you don't know that, then this stuff's not gonna make a whole lot of sense to you. So justinlmft.com, head over there. Before you go further into this, it'll make a lot more sense. But basically I wanna see if you can differentiate between play or flight fight. Play is basically a mixed state where we have the flight fight system active along with the ventral vagal safety state Whereas flight fight by itself is just the sympathetic system that's really there for survival, for running away, or being more aggressive. But play has flight fight as part of it. So I want to know if you can differentiate what is play and what is flight fight. So I got six images. Here is the first one for you. So when you see this, do you see kids who are running or fighting or are they playing? Let me give you a chance to figure that out for yourself. For me, I see play. And the evidence of this is that they are able to smile. Yeah, one kid is having his face forced into a smile, but he seems okay with it. He seems okay with that, with touch. He's got someone on his shoulders and he seems okay with that as well. So that indicates to me that he has enough access to his safety state to be able to participate in touch and to be okay with it. It doesn't trigger him into like a flight fight where he's like running away or pushing them off of him. Uh, the girl looks like she has uh, enough full range of uh, facial affect. She's kind of giving us a slight smile and looking at the camera. Uh, so it's, it seems like she has enough of her facial facial muscles active to suggest that we're in, or she's in our, she's in her safety state. Can't really see the boy uh, on the shoulders, but I'd assume he's doing okay too. He seems like his body's pretty relaxed. He's having, I would assume he's having fun up there. I can see kind of a slight smile. So I would say this, this is a play. How about this one? What do you think? Does this feel more like play or flight fight? I mean, they're wearing their, you know, their, their team gear, right? They're at a game. Aren't they having fun and playing? Or does this feel like something else to you? And if you said flight fight, I would agree. And definitely more of the fight flavor. There might be, I don't know, the, the blonde woman seems like maybe she's in a little flight and she's trying to get out of there. But the, uh, the people in the front the, with, the, with the jerseys on, they definitely seem to be more in fight. Their face suggests they are not playing around. They are not messing around. And if I if I had to you know, hazard a guess here, if I had to bet on this, I would assume that this guy right here started it all. It probably was a Raiders fan because Niner fans are very classy. We, we wouldn't do that. This definitely feels more like flight fight, definitely more fight. They are not using gentle touch. They are not smiling. They are not making gentle eye contact, their eye contact, their facial uh, muscles are, are showing, their, their, eye, their ocular muscles around their eye are suggesting back off, knock it off, back off. And they're actually willing to enclo encroach upon each other's space, which is something that we do in fight. In flight, we want to get away. In fight, we want to actually get closer. And the reason for that is so that we can get the danger to subdue, and then we can use flight and get away, and then back up into our safety state up the polyvagal ladder. So yeah, I would say this is definitely more fight. Let's do another one, number three here. How do you, what do you, or what do you think about this one? Does it feel like there's some flight fight going here or does it feel more like play? And yeah, this is this one's pretty obvious. So it's just, they're playing, right? Uh, I don't think that he's like shoving her from behind trying to knock her on the floor. I think that he's playfully uh, pushing her on a swing. The smiles indicate to us that they're doing just fine. It looks like they can tolerate being close to each other. All of this suggests they don't need space. All of this suggests that they are, well, that they're in their play state. They're following the, they're in the same state. They both have access to their safety state. They both have access to flight fight. So they're sharing the same state. And I'm going to guess that they know the rules of the game here, which is you don't shove me off of the swing. I'm going to trust you. And all of this following the same rules, being in the same state, all of this and the facial muscles, all of this suggests that they're in their state of their mixed state of play.
Here's number four. Now they got the jerseys on. They're soccer players or, or football football players, right? So this must be play or is it not play? Is it now flight fight? Are they breaking any rules here? If they're breaking rules, that would definitely suggest that they've lost access to their safety state and now they really are in more of a flight fight. So I don't know if they're breaking rules yet, but it, there definitely seems to be some behavior here that is out of the norm for any sport, really, unless maybe boxing, I guess, or wrestling. For soccer, though, th this is not the norm. So the fact that they are encroaching upon each other's space, especially the guy in the red jersey, is really encroaching upon space and making contact with the guy in the blue jersey it looks like what's happening. So that's his indication of, like, back off or attempting to dominate. That does not come from a state of safety and flight fight, a mixed state of play. Then, no, that, that actually comes from flight fight, probably more probably more fight. So he's encroaching upon space, trying to get this other person to back down or to submit. And then once that's completed, then he'll be able to use his flight state to, you know, head back to his team or whatever. All right, we got two more. Here's number five. Now, again, they're wearing jerseys. They're on the court, but is are they playing? Or in this moment, has it become something different? This one should be pretty obvious. Uh, this, again, is fight. Uh, flight fight, but specifically fight. In this, though, this is uh, something called the Malice at the Palace, where two teams, uh, it was like, a, you know, the ugliest day in NBA history. I think they call it something like that. But these two teams were really going at it. An uh, actual fight erupted, but it also involved uh, some of the fans. And the person, I forget his name, uh, the guy over here, on the right, he actually uh, went into the stands and attacked a couple of uh, fans. Why well, can't I remember his name? That's going to bug me. So this is definitely fight. Like, they they lost all semblance in this moment. Again, this is a, this was a big controversial incident. In this moment at the, the Malice of the Palace, uh, these and, and other people, they lost access to their safety state. They were not able to look at each other and say, hey, my bad. Or, hey, you know, uh, I'm just joking. Don't worry about it. Like, that was not on the plate, on their plates at all. Like, they, they could not make eye contact in a safe way and just smile and shrug it off and, and keep playing with the, within the rules of the game. Like, many people in this moment had lost their capacity to do that. And they were actually trying to hurt each other, including the stands. They were throwing things at the players and whatnot. So I would say this is clearly not play and, again, more fight than flight. And here's our last one, number six. Again, they're wearing the jerseys, they're on the field, they're playing, right? Or is it something different and now it's flight fight? So they're following the rules. That kind of indicates that they have access to their safety state. They can still follow the rules. They can still um, think critically or they can weigh the pros and cons of their decisions, you know, basically. If they lost access to their safety state, they're, this would probably look different. They'd probably be actually potentially trying to hurt each other or they would you know leave the field in a huff and say I don't want to play anymore forget you guys but what we see here is what looks like two people uh, following the rules of the game the boy in red and blue over here is not trying to tackle the boy in blue number 11 he's following the rules of the game which is to get the flag so he's still following the rules of the game uh, the boy in blue is running trying to get he's carrying the ball he's not throwing it at someone and hitting them in the head so as far as we can tell, these two individuals are usually utilizing their mixed state of play. They have access to flight fight, but also their safety state. So I would say this one is clearly play. But hey, how did you do? Uh, did you agree with me as far as my synopsis of all these? Do you have anything that you would add? Put it in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and again, if you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, you need to learn about the polyvagal theory. It's something I'm kind of obsessed with. Go to justinlmft.com and you can find a whole bunch of free resources there and learn a lot more about it.